rocks, leggings. They're all supposed to have yellow legs. When you get to a show and somebody, there's as much yellow. Why is that? Some of it's feed. Females that have been lame are going to lose some yellow. The judge kind of knows, but he can tell by the time he, and he takes that in consideration. But if you have a white bird that's supposed to have yellow legs, you get there and it doesn't, that's not going to look well. There's little tips that you can use. Um, I have a special bee made, but it's nothing magical. Um, and it, it has marigold extract. But you can get that in certain feeds, like the boiler feeds. Look for it. Marigold extract. Grass is wonderful for putting yellow legs. But who doesn't mow the grass and have grass cuttings? Handy grass. A lot of the leg color, they're. There's some genetics to it, but a lot of it has to do with their feet. So look at your feet and, and, and see if you can do improvements later. Yes. Buff is one of my favorite colors. They are a challenge. Our Texas sun is just too much for me. If you're wanting to show Buff Orpingtons and be very successful, you're going to have to find a place for them, and they never see the light of day during show season. That's just that's just going to be the way it is. <laughs> and just because you you think you're mistreating your birds during the show season. After show season, you really don't care what they have to look. You can do anything you want to because they're going to they're going to get another set of feathers, and you get a second chance. Okay, here's another quick good point: overcrowding. Remember when I started off for the betterment of your flock? You have to do constant cuddling. That's if you want your flock to be successful, you want them to have the best conditions they can. If you get crowding, if you start having a whole bunch of chicks and you get really excited, then the next day you go out there, they're picking on each other. They're picking at the feathers. And you say, well, why are they doing that? They're usually overcrowded or it's hot like this year. And that's when you really have to give them larger quarters or start pulling some of them out. Yes. Eventually. Eventually. Okay. When you, they say a bird is molting. Eventually, they're going to lose all their feathers within a year. Normally, old birds will start losing feathers now, and they're going to have a new set by October. But sometimes, they don't always follow that rule. I have taken coachings that are just prime feather to a show. By the end of the show, all the feathers were in the box. Pretty much. It's just this. It could be stress. It could be a lot of factors. Yeah. Um, but this time of the year, you're going to expect to see feathers everywhere, and that's normal because they're getting rid of their old feathers while it's hot. And by October, when we get the first cool breezes, they're going to get serious about getting some feathers. And that's another point. There's a few little secrets you can do about feathers, too. And again, that's nutrition. One of my secrets, when they're going through a molt, well, they get this all the time anyway. 
What would you think would be a good feed? Something with protein. Beef. Vitamin E. Anything that's good for your hair. Something like that. But one of the simplest things is cat food. Cat food. Dried cat food. Yeah. Now the, the smaller bantams, you'd have to search around to get a, a smaller one. Um, one of the things I like to do is for a treat is I will mix high protein dog food and cat food. I have so many eggs I have no idea what to do with them. I boil them, crush them, and mix that in there, wet it down, throw some whole grains in there, and that's the treat. The only problem with that, they recognize the color of the bucket it comes in, and they will knock you down for it. <laughs> but when they're getting a new set of feathers, that's when nutrition is really important. What's that? Generally not. You can you can search around and find some smaller group, smaller. Um, the bantams would, might have problems, but you'd be surprised how much. The colbucks, they're going to pick out the cat food first. <laughs> they have a preference, and they recognize it. They learn pretty quick. Yes. Okay, you have a young bunch of birds. You're really excited about them. But they need to lay, reach a certain level of maturity before they're good. If you're bantams, they may be ready in five to six months. If you have large birds, brahmas, it may take you almost a year for a pullet to get ready. That's why you see some big breeds that, you know, some coaching folks and Brahma folks, they may push the pullet to maybe 16 months. I can see that. Now, when you push a pullet to three or four years, that's getting a little much. But your young birds, they need to reach a certain level of maturity. Um, you don't want to take one to a judge that he thinks you need to go put it back in the brew. They don't have to be to the point of lay, but usually when, like for bantams, they get quicker, ready quicker than others. They're almost to the point of lay before you really show them. Yes. show, you usually can't take them back and put them, just kick them out with the others again. They have a pecking order that they've already established and when you upset that, you can't put them back there without him, him having to start over. But that's actually how I raise my birds. When I separate the cockerels, they 